Good afternoon to everyone and my lecturer. Uh, today, I'm, my group and I is going, going to pre present the test, test code case study. My name is Brian. She's Hui An, Jing Wen, Brandon, Jack Yang. And now I would like to pass my time to Jing, Jing Wen to present her background. Tesco is from UK and the founder is Jacob Hunt. It is a multinational grocery and general product from Kofosha, UK. And Tesco is the world's third largest retailer globally. And they first opened in 1931. They provide, in 2008, they provide loyalty card and online shopping service. They also enter into financial service at Tesco Bank and introduce various financial products such as credit card, mortgage, and other financial facilities. Tesco slogan is we believe that every little help to make a big difference for customers. Let's go back to check here. So I'll talk about the situation that this is. <coughs> First, set up new entrants. Tesco has no. The job new entrant is low as when new entrants they want to enter the market, they need to have high capital and it takes time for them to build up the brand awareness. And Tesco has good marketing budget that they can easily serve away the local new competitors. But the power of buyer is high. They, the switching cost is high there. Uh, Consumer, they can easily compare Tesco product from other competitor and find out that if the price go lower or the others, they can just easily change their brand or change the product to other retailer. The bargaining power of supplier is low. Uh, Tesco they hold the position and hold the power as a lot of supplier they are afraid of losing the contract with Tesco. From a BBC news before, uh, Tesco was revealed that they prioritizing their finance and delay the payment to the supplier. Now I'll pass to Brian to continue. Okay, the check of substitution is, is high as you can see Tesco bank bank their there are, there are many other banks in in U, UK that can actually substitute Tesco banks and Tesco Express which is a, is a, is a convenience store and there are many other convenience stores that also can sub, substitute Tesco Express and then Tesco Extra is a supermarket and there are many other supermarkets which is, for example uh, Adi and AD that offer, offer lower price for yeah, their products and with, with both and Mark and Spencer offer a more higher quality higher quality quality product than Tesco. And then uh okay Bing, Bing Box is a is a service online service that that offer video and music streaming and ebooks and this also can be can be substitute such as uh v Video streaming is at those movie streaming that those one two three movie dot, dot com where you can stream for free. Ebooks, so there are many Amazon and the uh, competitive reliability is high because there are many many things that, that can be can be substituted by by other other companies and some even for free. Trade of related industry is medium. As you can see, the, the food industry and food industry that connected with food and non food retailing and club card and banking industry having credit card saving account, insurance covered account, and many more. And have connected with the mobile application industry. Service industry, you can see home industry and home service and online online service, which I mentioned earlier about the music streaming like those 
and real estate, real estate industry and music industry. Now I will uh, yeah, beyond. Okay, as for as for beyond, let's let's go do to achieve a sustainable competitive advantage where they have the the service and high value is is valuable and then have loyalty card which is competitive parity <coughs> and Pesco have the financial financial resources where they have where they can get into the the banking license that enough money and land assets to prove that they can get the banking license and they enter into retail retail bank retail banking where not many not many many retailers that can can obtain the retail retail banking banking license just as that Tesco and Mark and Spencer they do have the retail banking banking license and Tesco organization structure with them well 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 organized they have enough staff enough experienced worker for now so they can they can achieve sustainable community advantage. Now I'm going to pass my time to to Brandon. Thank you, Brian. Um, now I'll be talking about the problem analysis that we've done for Tesco. Uh, so the first uh, problem that we've identified is the leadership flaw, um, with four elements that um, leads us to the major problem. So first off is the management. Uh, this can be seen during the tenure of Philip Clark, the former CEO, whereby when he just uh, came in as a CEO, he let go of uh, experienced employees, which leads to the company not really able to run big operations. Uh, next, the people and stuff. Um, there will be trouble recruiting because uh, qualified and experienced employees will be hard to find because they will most likely be in other uh, big corporations, which also leads to talent drain in the company. Uh, moving on is the development. We can see that Tesco has a lack of training programs for their employees. So um, letting go of the experience figures will really um, do a big damage to their operations. And there's also a lack of clear career progression for their existing employees. Next is the negligence, which is um, very obvious in their international venture, especially in America and Japan, where they have not done much market research before entering into the market. Um, for Japan, they have actually overlooked the problem of the culture, and in America, when they first approached, they believed that they could actually see what the customers need and want in that market. And lastly is the customer experience between the stores of Tesco. Um, you can see that there are some stores that offer excellent services or shopping experience and some stores that only uh, offer mediocre experience. And the other problem is the loss of customers, which also has four elements that uh, leads to that. So first of all is the competitors, such as Wade Rose, Lily and Aldi, which um, also is in the retail industry. However, they provide products with a much lower price. Next is the consumer behavior that has changed. Um, due to the economic downturn in um, 2008, um, this has actually reduce the purchasing power of uh, consumers and the switching from hard markets to convenience shop. So in the past, um, going to the car and driving out of town to go to hypermarkets is actually considered a adventure. But now, <coughs> people are more looking to convenience and places that they can shop nearby where they live. And next is internal problem that involves whistle blower. Uh, this is due to the uh, scandal regarding using horse meat in their um, food products, such as burgers. And next is over diversify, which involves, which means that um, because originally Tesco began with as a food retailer, and they have diversified into retail banking, Tesco mobile home services, 
and they have over 400,000 products, which led them to focus less on their core um, business function. And now, us to take care. <coughs> increase the sales by 100% by year 2023. Uh, the suggested strategy for Tesco is core competency because they need to be more customer centralized, <coughs> uh, focus on customer and, and to provide them the best shopping experience, the best price. Possible issue is it can be hard for them to convince that they are once again care for their customer, they focus on their customer offering a competitive price and providing them the best shopping experience. Solution for this is Tesco can try to increase their engagement with their customer, their colleges and supplier to win back their trust and loyalty since they have some issue with the trust issue with those person. So the evaluation will be uh, Tesco can measure their result by according to the sales in year 2023. Now I'll pass to Queen. Now I'm going to talk about the Tesco short-term objective. Our group has set two short-term objectives for Tesco, uh, which is increase 40 percent to 50 percent of training to current employee by the year 2019. Then the second one is increase 20 to 30% retention rate of current employee to avoid talent dream by the, by the year by the year 2019. So we also got set the suggested strategy which is training program. Then the training program is based on leadership training, community skill training, and complaint handling training. Then after that, we also can create the additional reward and benefit for employee. That the employee privilege card increase from 10% discount to 15% discount on shopping at Tesco for the employees. Then after that, we can give away the share of Tesco to the employee who are performing per performance well in the year. Then, uh, then the possible issue is the participate of the training program didn't meet the expectation. So we also can set the possible solution to solve the possible issue that the mandatory require all the employee attend the training programs. Then after that, the second one of possible issue is employee who didn't get the reward that received the share of the company will feel discouraged if they are almost meet the requirement for the reward. So we also can set the possible solution for this possible issue that shortlisted employee are offered by 10% discount to purchase the company share. At at the end of the year 2019, training for the employees should be increased. Failure to do so would lead to alternative solution. At the end of the year 2019, Tesco employee retention rate should be increased. Failure to do so would lead to alternative solution. Here is 
just because the buyer easily can switch to other brands, does that mean that bargaining power is high? Yeah, they have the, I mean, they have the power that they can choose not to buy your things. So Tesco, they have to consider about it and cannot sell the price too high or too low based on their, their what? So are you trying to say they can influence the price of the product? Uh, yeah. Okay, because they can easily switch to the other brands. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Uh, trend of substitutes. Who did trend of substitutes? Yeah. Okay. What is the difference between substitutes and competition? Substitute is some, something that can be substitute, such as, let's just say, they can using those cheaper products or other brands, they can use it. A uh, customer basically can like. So if I want to buy, if I want to buy Nike shoes, yeah, I can. What will be the substitute for Nike shoes? The counter product. Mm. Uh, counter fit. Of the fit product, they use those chips product that like selling at the market that cost about twenty ringgit. So counterfeit will be substituted. What is competition? Competition is like Tesco and and Mark and Spencer. Com competition they compete for customer. Okay, by turn around, look at your words and tell me. What are substitutes again and what is competition again? <laughs> you just told me that different brands will be competition. Counterfeit product can be substitute. That's what you just told me. That's just the just example. Okay, so, then are you telling me whatever written there is right then? Substitutes, you gave me all different brands. I mean, they can. <laughs> yes, for Tesco Bank, you say substitute for Tesco Bank is Bank of England, Bank of Scotland, HSBC Bank. Yeah, this brand they can substitute. I mean, it's, uh, substitute is not necessary, I think, for. Okay, uh, another question. Bank of England, is it a commercial bank? Or is it a central bank? Central bank. Are you sure? Conceptually wrong between substitutes and competition. <laughs> Can we just accept that and then we move on? Okay. Now, related industry. Okay, when we say related industry, what does it mean? Those industry that related to Tesco, it's like music industry, when they, yeah, they do play those music and those any music in the, as the background. Okay. Yeah. With the music industry, yes. Retail, real estate, yes. 
I don't get banking industry. How the banking industry becomes uh, a related industry for Tesco? Uh, because Tesco, Tesco diversified into banking, retail bank, retail banking. So that's why it's related. Come. But if I've already diversified, why is it related? I'm part of the industry. Like Inti, they open an Inti bank. They're already part of the industry. Why banking will be a related industry for them? I understand the real estate part, I understand the music part, service part, yes, application part, yes. Banking, that's why I don't understand. Can I say a small error from you? Yes. Or is there another answer from you? A uh, small error. <laughs> Okay, next presenter. This is about the problem identification. You have said two things in your first problem. The first one you say that lack in training programs and talent drain. Do you have evidence to prove lack in training program and talent drain? Training program? Uh, training program. You say lack of training program. So what evidence you have for lack of training program? Uh, there is the link in the reference that I went and see. It says that to avoid the um, problem of recruiting um, and talent drain, they have to have. Tesco has to have a uh, training program. So that means that they don't have a training program right now. Okay, your next. Uh, Problem analysis. I saw whistleblower. Why whistleblower costs the loss of customers? So I am trying to say that because, uh, because as far as I was concerned, the issue on horse meat was discovered by a spot check or was it discovered by an internal employee? Yeah. Are you sure it's not started by is a whistleblowing act done by someone inside the company asking someone to check? Okay, why is this the best strategy choice? Because <clears throat> if you check for Tesco history, uh, you can see that they are becoming the British first hypermarket because of they doing what they are great, they doing the customer centric, they focus on how they can satisfy their customer need. That's why I think that they Rather than over diversify into other venture, venture, uh, 
it's better for them to stick to the old strategy. Okay, then, so you're trying to say, is there any difference from what strategy you are suggesting and what has been practiced by that so far? Uh, no, just further improve for this part. Okay, then I have another question for you about this. <laughs> you mentioned about great, uh, fantastic shopping experience in the best prices. Can Tesco achieve both? Uh, Mainly, not for now, but they can try to achieve it. What do you mean by shopping experience? Uh, because if you check the case study that uh, they say, the customer say that they're having better shopping experience in Mark Spencer rather than in Tesco. Yeah, because Mark Spencer, they target the high-end market, so they have better experience, so they charge more. So that's why I'm trying to see how we can achieve both. Shopping experience and best prices. Meanwhile, Tesco, all the while I'm alive, they've been telling me to be low cost. So that's why I'm asking you how you can achieve both. Uh, the shopping experience is that can we can hire more workers as a, as a, a customer assistant. Like when the customer come in, and the customer. The customer was supposed to buy some something. Uh, that's it. And electronic goods, uh, there is a, a, a assistant to explain about the goods, how we use. This. Doesn't that increase our cost? Yes, how but allow us to give best prices. Yes, but, uh, but if you eat away, then you can bring back trust from your customer. That's all, thank you.